Welcome everyone. I know you have been waiting for it. Well, it's here. You can now download and run the simulation yourself. But first, I'll try to give you an overview of how things works. First, there is the menu screen where you'll be able to modify the initial genes of the population to whatever you want. Give them an initial color, make them start big or small, herbivorous or carnivorous. You can be creative. Then, you can fine tune the simulation parameters to your likings. Be aware that some of them may have a heavy impact on the computing cost of the simulation and may result in crashes. Not responsible for accidents, security meltdowns, and explosions. This is especially the case with area size and energy density. I suggest working your way up instead of going all in right from the start. You can also save your simulation parameters to a file and load them the next time you open the program to run your favorite settings easily. Once you're satisfied with the parameters, you can go ahead and start the simulation. You can see that the simulation speed starts at maximum value right away. You can change it anytime between 0.09 and 11.18. Um, because reasons. You can also pause it if you want to take your time to observe a scene or if you want to arrange one. <laughs> if you want to learn more about a bibit, click on it. Then you'll be able to see its stats, genes, and brain structure. Like here, in this case, we can see that this bibit is pretty dumb <laughs> because it doesn't move to go get food. Instead, it only evolved to turn when it has energy. As a more concrete example, we can see that this one has evolved to go forward the longer it has been alive. As you can guess, it can get pretty crowded with more complex brains, so you can re-click on one bibit to redraw the network and try to align things a little better. It's a crappy system, I know, but I'll work on something better. Hey, it's me from the future. Uh, s during recording, I reworked the UI a little bit, and I also added a little guide to help you understand the network's drawings a little better. Let me know if it helped. For a more cinematic experience, you can press space to toggle the interface. No, 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 not now. Also, don't forget you can move the camera using the right click button and dragging the screen. The menu is right here in the corner. Here, you'll be able to toggle the pheromone display. Restart the simulation, give me feedback, go back to the menu, or quit the game. You can also open or close the menu by pressing escape. So, yeah, at first I was considering releasing the game only for my patrons. But I wasn't sure, so I decided to ask you guys. Boy, was I in for a ride. More than 2,000 answers? You have to realize that when I launched the poll, I had less than 700 subscribers. So, yeah, of course, just like my comments, I decided to read every single one. First of all, I asked you to choose what I was going to work on next, and most of you went with procedural sprites. I think this concept is so cool that I would have probably ended up doing this anyway. I think it's going to make the simulation a lot more interesting to watch and also a lot more understandable. Right behind are the biomes with evolving plants and sexual reproduction. Both of them are going to be super important to develop as soon as possible and will promote biodiversity by unthinkable amounts. But with all of those things, Optimization is going to be crucial, and it's far from being my strength. So if you know a little bit about Unity and want to guide me or even directly help, feel free to contact me by email. I would be infinitely grateful. Next, I asked what kind of content you wanted to see on this channel, and the answers were pretty much all over the map. However, it's pretty clear that most of you will love technical content, and also live commenting over evolution footage. 
so I'll try to add that to my video listing. Many of you suggested also doing live streams of either coding or evolution, and I really liked the idea. I'll probably announce that in the next few weeks. While we are talking about announcements, I just launched both a subreddit and a Twitter following your comments. They are pretty empty right now, but I use those platforms to interact with you all and announce things in general. So back on track, I asked you how you felt about me releasing the game for my patrons. About half of you considered it fair, but as many of you remarked, the question is loaded and would incite you to vote like that. In the end, it's true that I want as many people as possible to play around with it and develop an interest in the field of artificial life. So I decided to, yes, release it to my patrons, but also to release a demo version free to everyone. The only difference with the demo version is that you won't be able to modify the simulation parameters yourself. Many said that they wanted to support me through Steam, so I'll eventually release it there, but probably not anytime soon, as I want to make sure I have a solid game before releasing it officially. Also. Over 1 billion people asked me about open sourcing the code of the project, and while I do want to do so, I'd like to be sure I'm established first and that it would provide me with a living income. I would love to live from this project, but it's not possible for now. Lastly, I asked you if there was anything specific you wanted to tell me, and boy was there some earthwarming comments there. I thank you all for your kind words and I'll probably just make a complete video answering the questions I got and reacting to some of your comments. Finally, I wanted to say thank you also to my amazing Patreons for supporting me on Patreon. I already put your help to great use by soundproofing my studio. I really want your support to directly improve my channel and not go in my pockets directly. Thank you all so much and especially to Alex Paramore, Andréanne Vallière, Arden Gilney, Autumn, and username. So that's it. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to be notified when the next video comes up. So thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.